Hey guys, Bellamy here from Midnight Suns. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to play Brigitta from Overwatch. She's my favorite hero and I love everything about her. I love her character, I love her voice actress Matilda Smithers, and everything about her is just amazing. And so I'm here to teach you how to play Brigitta. Now as a disclaimer, even though I call this a brick one trick guide, that doesn't mean I don't switch to other support heroes when I absolutely need to. Because this is Overwatch after all and switching heroes is a huge part of winning the game. However, I will say that Brick is by far my best support hero and I play her in at least 90% of my games whenever I'm on support. Just because you might be a one trick player like me who is extremely good at one hero compared to every other hero in the game, that doesn't mean automatically that you should never switch heroes. Sometimes if you are just getting countered and dying over and over, then you have to switch even if it means playing a hero you are much weaker at. Like if the other support on your team isn't very good and you have to switch to a main healer to make up for it, then sometimes you just have to do it if you want to win. So keep that in mind if you plan on rising through the competitive ranks. Being a one trick just means you are really good at one singular hero but that doesn't necessarily mean being stubborn and refusing to switch when the situation calls for it. That kind of mentality might work at Diamond and below, but eventually you will need to be flexible even as a one-trick player like me. And with that being said, let's get back on with the guide. So how this guide will differ from some of the others out there already on YouTube is that this is a practical gameplay guide. So I will actually bring you through a recent game I played as Brigitte and explain my entire thought process throughout the game while we watch through it together. And I hope that by doing it this way, it might provide much more practical help for players who are trying to learn since you'll be able to understand what goes through my mind as a top 500 brick player in real time as the action unfolds as opposed to me creating a guide where i tell you how to play brick with a set of vague scenarios where you might not really understand this way i think by showing you in a real game you might be able to get a hold of the information a lot easier so I've always had friends tell me to make this video teaching people how to play Brick properly but I never felt I was good enough to make a video like this but recently in season 35 of competitive I actually reached the top 500 playing Brigitta basically as a one trick and I do that because I'm really just much better at Brigitta than any other hero in the entire game. But I can say for certain that if I play any other hero in the game there's no way I would have ever reached the top 500. But because Brigitta fits me and my playstyle so well, I thought maybe before Overwatch 2 comes out, it would be nice to just make a video teaching people how to play Brigitta. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this whole video once while giving my commentary, explaining what is my thought process as I play through this round. And then afterwards, I'll just play the whole match without any commentary and maybe you will be able to understand all the advice I've been giving throughout this video when you rewatch the whole video without any commentary. So without further ado, let's get to it. So Brigitte is all about fast reflexes. Having good aim is always important, but when it comes to brick, nothing is more important than reflexes. Of course, you will need good game awareness and great understanding of the game mechanics as well, but I think that applies to every hero in the game. What makes Brick different is that she is one of the few heroes in the game that you can actually excel in without MLG level aiming. And in fact, I think to play her well, you might even want to consider increasing your mouse sensitivity even if it means slightly reducing your accuracy. Okay, so you always want to be holding down your left click, your rocket flail as much as you can. So you're just constantly attacking because you never know when like a Tracer or Genji or Doomfist might just come around the corner. So if you accidentally hit them while just holding down your left click, you will actually trigger your Inspire AoE healing. and you will be doing both damage and healing at the same time by accident if you just hold down your left click. And that happens much more often than you think. So always want to be holding down your left click. So the only times you don't want to do that is if you are sneaking up on somebody and you don't want to give your position away. Or if your health is very low and you're trying to escape as discreetly as possible without drawing attention to yourself with the loud swinging. Alright, so I just had the Winston use his jump back, which means that his jump is now on cooldown and he won't be able to escape when I use my whip shot to knock him to the well. And so that was a free heal basically. Okay, so that was the long ranged whip shot. Like, you should always try to do that as much as possible. It does twice the amount of damage of your regular swings. And you will just want to be doing that as much as you can. It's also Brick's only ranged attack. 
However, you need to be careful if you miss because when you use that long range whip shot, it actually reduces your speed by 50%. So that will leave you vulnerable with your shield down. So I tend to prefer using it right after a shield bash so that the chance of me missing the target will be much slimmer because they are stunned already. But even if you don't, it does twice the amount of damage as a regular rocket flail. So it's good to just use it for the damage. So if you are just using it for damage, it will knock people away from you. So you're going to want to press forward on them to continue your assault while you're using it. Okay, so here I see the Winston and Genji have already jumped in. So I'm going to support them. Never ever go in alone as Brick because you will die that way. Just always make sure that you try to dive in with your teammates if they are playing a dive composition. Okay, so you see that Echo threw her bombs for me and I attacked her and shoot her because the moment you attack her, you activate your own personal healing as well as your AOE healing. So you hold your shield up and let your health regenerate before you continue attacking. Okay, that was unfortunate. I wasn't able to heal the Mercy in time and the Farah killed me after that. So right now it's tough because the enemies are playing flying DPSs and both of our DPSs are close range dive DPSs which basically are really bad against the flying DPSs. So as Brick, what you should do now is you focus on the tanks instead of the DPSs because they will usually be flying high up and you can't get them. So just try and focus on supporting your tanks and not get distracted by the flying people too much. Okay, so Brick's out is really one of the best outs in the game. It gives you armor and healing. So even if the enemies throw an anti nade on you, you can still get armor on top of that. And as you can see, it's very hard for anybody to even kill me while I'm using it. Okay, and this is why I say you need extremely fast reflexes. So I don't know if you caught that, but basically I waited till the very, very last second of the diva bomb to turn over and hold my shield up. Because if you hold your shield up too early, you will let the enemies destroy your shield and then you won't be able to shoot yourself against the diva bomb. So as much as you can, you try to avoid letting your shoot get broken. Even if it's just like a few HP left, that is enough to block the diva bomb and then you pull it out at the very last second as I have done here. Okay, so we lost the point. I almost managed to not win into the well again, but I failed. But I see my Winston jumping and that's my cue to go in as well and support him. So right now I've been anti nated so I need to play more defensively. So I'm hiding around the corner so they can't hit me as easily. Okay, so Brigitte's out not only gives everyone armor and healing, but it also increases her own speed. Right now I'm using her out to hold the point and get out of Farah's out range. With the armor from my out, it's really really hard for them to kill me even though there were so many of them right there. And of course the mercy healing me definitely helps as well. Okay, so at that point I could be more offensive because most of the enemy team was dead already and I could just press forward and catch the point. Unfortunately, I missed my whip shot there, but thankfully I was not punished for it. Alright, so the Winston used his out and I used my out as well just to make sure that he couldn't kill me. And right now I'm able to give my whole team extra armor. Okay, so if you shoot bash a charging rank, you can stun him. I mean, you, you'll get knocked down as well, but usually your team will be able to take advantage of that. Okay, Winston again, which is your big target for break. So yes, this example of just randomly holding down your left click and accidentally killing somebody. <laughs> so.
also her shield bash is one of the best abilities in the entire game. You can use it to cancel out, but you can also just use it as a movement ability. So I like to just use it out of spawn just to get to the point a bit faster. And you can also use it to avoid being knocked off the map. Alright, so because you are not as tanky as like the main tanks or even some of the DPSs, you might just want to hang back and then wait for the fight to happen before going in. Okay, so here I see a good opportunity to just kill a bunch of them, so I out. So the thing about Bricks Out is, even though the enemies were already dead, and it might seem like I wasted it, but it actually was not a waste, because Bricks Out gives everyone armor. So even though the fight has ended, everyone around me will still get armor, which will still stay on them for a significant amount of time. So when the next team fight happens, all my teammates will have bonus armor already. So you want to be doing damage as much as you can. Notice that I'm not just rushing in because I know that the enemies probably have outs already and it's more important to play defensively at this point now that we already have caught the point. Okay, so you always want to hold your shield up to get a third person point of view so you can see around corners without the enemy seeing you. This allows you to track the enemies and report their positions to your teammates and it also allows you to surprise your enemies with a shield bash around the corner if you need to. As a support player, it is your duty to keep track of the enemies and communicate their movements to your teammates. And that's not just for Brick, it's for any support hero. So, being able to see around corners with Brick's shield is actually one of the most underrated and important abilities in the game. Okay, so right now I'm just trying to support my team. It's very unlikely that I will survive, but because I see my team has already committed to the fight, I will go in with them. Alright, so yes, unfortunately I was killed, but we've already got the point to 80% before the enemies even caught the point once. Alright, waiting for my tanks to engage first before I go in. Okay, so now I'm purpose, so I have to be more defensive. And then the Zara just bowed me so I can be more offensive again. So I'm just hanging around my tanks now. Always use the whip shot as much as you can just to activate your AoE healing. Okay, now I have an out so I can be more offensive. And Winston's always your food, so always go after Winston. And of course try to keep your teammates alive as much as you can as well. So if you see someone attacking your teammates, don't be afraid to switch targets and use your shield bash to help your teammates survive. So I tried to knock that Diva off so my Mercy could rest. Okay, that's always a good combo with Cyrus out. Unfortunately, I couldn't save the Mercy. Okay, so now this Winston is basically out there just to kill me. And as you can see, he's just coming after me, but he will not be able to kill me because I'm constantly attacking him. So never ever stop attacking. And if you just keep attacking, you'll keep healing yourself and he won't be able to kill you. Okay, so unfortunately the Mercy rest team up there so I couldn't stun her. And I missed my stun there as well. Okay, so now I see the Ana out there. I'm trying to chase her away with my swings. 
It's so important thing to note when you're playing Brick is that you can attack people while throwing out your health packs at the same time. So you don't have to just do one at a time and by doing this you'll end up having a lot of heals by the end of the game and I believe in this game I actually had the gold healing. So positioning is always very important. At the low levels of the game, you'll find bricks just running out into the open without cover and dying instantly and saying that brick sucks. But that's because they're not playing her properly. You see, just because you're a close range hero doesn't mean you shouldn't play around cover. And this goes for any hero in the game. You always want to play around corners and have cover that you can fall behind instantly if you are under heavy fire. So what you want to do is just keep holding down your left click, swinging your rocket flail around the corner so that anybody who comes will get hit by it and you will activate your inspired healing at the same time if that happens. So you are essentially holding the enemies back at a choke point so that you and your team are protected while being able to deal heavy damage simultaneously. Anyway, I now present to you the entire match in its full unedited glory. Thanks again for watching guys and I hope this guide will be helpful for anybody looking to play Brigitte in Overwatch or Overwatch 2. In fact, I think Brick is even better in Overwatch 2 than she is in Overwatch 1, so hopefully this guide will be more relevant than ever in the future. With that being said, I'll see you guys around real soon. And as always, stay gold. Ready for battle. And this is Super is dead. Combo Breaker. Don't sass me. I will find myself four, three, two, I feel one, now round one. Capture the objective. Oh. Oh. Oh.
zero. Ready for battle. I can't wait to see all in action. Hey. Fire!